Cassie here and welcome to another episode of Ask Cassie. Today's question comes from my blog, blogilates.com. Nina asks, in one of your recent blog posts, you mentioned that everyone should change the workout routine every few weeks. Should we change the exercise that we do or even the times or days that we do it? Like if we're used to doing a cardio workout every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and Pilates the other days, should we change the days as well or only what we do? Bye, Nina. Thank you, Nina, for your question. So the question is really asking how often and how should we change our workouts to avoid a plateau? As you know, plateaus can be very frustrating. A lot of you are probably following my blog, and my videos, to lose weight, to change your body, or to just get healthier. And when you're on a really good roll and you know, inches are falling off, pounds are falling off, and all of a sudden it stops, you don't know what to do, and let me tell you why. It's because your body is efficient. It wants to survive. So actually, depleting all those energy stores is gonna shock the body. So when you are starting a new workout routine, okay, your body doesn't know what to do, so it has to use a ton of energy to figure out what's going on, and so you burn tons of calories. As you continue to do the same workout, you begin to learn. You learn how to be efficient so the body gets used to certain moves. And that's why you're not sore if you have done, you know, Pilates for a long time, like me. I've been doing Pilates for, I would say, about 10 years. I've been teaching for about seven. So when I do Pilates, I can talk, I can joke with you, all those sorts of things because my body is used to it. So that's why I've changed to doing high intensity interval training, HIIT, HIT. I've done weightlifting to really, you know, challenge my body because you want to keep, you want to keep it at a high level. Okay, but everyone's at a different level. So if it's your first time exercising and you do even just yoga or even just walking, that's gonna torch a bunch of calories because your body isn't used to it. So the thing here is we've got to create muscle confusion because muscle confusion is going to shock. Shocking burns more calories, okay? So in general, through the research that I've read and through personal experience, it's about every four weeks you should change your routine. So what does that mean? Say this month I'm doing abs on Monday, back on Tuesday, legs on Wednesday, yada yada yada, and cardio on Sunday. Can I still do that same routine the following month? Yes, you can. You can still work abs on Monday or whatever I just said. However, you need to change the type of moves that you're doing on that day. That's all it is. You don't have to change your time. You don't have to be like um, a morning person workouter who now has to work out at night. No, no, no. Because you've got to find a workout time that works for you, okay? All you have to do is change the types of moves. And that's why every week I introduce to you new moves in my videos so that you can keep your muscles challenged. Because there's no point in repeating the same moves over and over and over again. It's like repeating first grade again and again and again. You're not going to learn anything new. I need to keep challenging you over and over and over. So if you feel like a lot of my videos are just getting really, really hard, don't worry because you will get there. I want you to challenge your muscles. I want you to reach for your 110% because that's how you're going to change your physique. That's how you're going to change your body and that's how you're going to torch a ton of calories. So does that make sense? To avoid a plateau, you need to keep changing it up. In general, every four weeks. So if you're confused as to what you should do, to check out my workout calendar on blogilates.com. The link is in the description below. Um, and I will provide for you a workout that you can do weekly. And then the next month I'll come up with another one, so and so. And be sure you subscribe to my newsletter because that's where I send out the secret password so that you can actually get this gem of a workout calendar, which is actually really pretty because I spent a lot of time doing it. So I hope that answers your question, Nina. Um, change the workout every four weeks to avoid a plateau, meaning change the moves. Just follow my workout videos and you will be fine. All right, guys? Any questions that you have for me, leave them in the comments below and the ones with the most thumbs up, as long as it's not crazy ridiculous, I will answer. I will see you next time and I love you so much. Bye! Reach out, bring oh it right up here. And here we go. Keep those knees together. Keep those hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Ready and Good. exhale. Good. Well, he killed me with his M100, so oh. I gotta count some good. Exhale, reach, hand in. So you want to keep your back really tall. Try not